Tonight, American troops have come under fire in Syria. The U.S.-led patrol and the confrontation with pro-Syrian supporters, the Americans firing back. Those Americans, part of the U.S. troops still in Syria on the hunt for ISIS when the confrontation happened. This video showing local supporters of the Syrian regime opening fire at a U.S. convoy. ABC's James Longman from Syria tonight. Tonight, American troops attacked in Syria. U.S. military vehicles, their flags clearly visible, stopped at a Syrian regime checkpoint. Gunmen opening fire. A child runs away in the chaos. One gunman killed and another wounded. This is the first time the U.S. has been directly engaged by a government-backed group here. We've been on the ground here in Syria with the U.S. military, who are still working to keep the peace in Syria's complex civil war. You get a sense of just how ferocious this attack must have been. Take a look at how badly damaged the turret is. And the gunner who was in there was covered in oil after those gunmen tried to set fire to this vehicle. These American soldiers are some of only a few hundred left. In October, President Trump ordered the pullout of all U.S. forces. But the decision was reversed after international outcry for deserting the Kurds, who'd fought against ISIS alongside American troops. We met Major General Eric Hill, commander of the Special Ops Task Force. He told us the Kurds still had U.S. protection and that ISIS is still a threat. How has the mission changed for the United States? Because I think a lot of people at home will be surprised to see that the U.S. is still here in Syria. Right. Our mission now is uh, very clear. We're still here to uh, complete the enduring defeat of Daesh. Daesh. ISIS fighters and the new threat to the region since the U.S. drawdown, countries like Russia moving in to unguarded lands, trying to fill the vacuum. Just today, we saw Russian soldiers among that crowd. As the U.S. prepared to leave, the crowd began shouting, death to America. While driving with one of the American convoys, we ask about the Russians. It must be pretty strange to see you know, a Russian flag and an American flag up against one another in Syria. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, but we are focused on making sure that everything that is de-escalated. Today's incident is a stark reminder of the dangerous limbo this region was left in after the chaos of October's partial withdrawal. For U.S. troops, what was already a complex situation is now more uncertain than ever. David? All right, James Longman from Northeast Syria tonight. <laughs> Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.